Pandemic nursing is a new term that describes nursing care as rushed, physically overwhelming, emotionally draining, and in addition, an onslaught of critically ill patients. Can you give me an example of when, during the pandemic, you felt overwhelmed or emotionally drained? Um, definitely, um, the pandemic really affected us in many ways. And uh, uh, taking care of patients, um, um, you know, wearing, wearing the PPE and, and dealing with us, a patient that was actually very um, with anxiety and stressful because of not knowing, you know, what was going to be the outcome coming out of the out of COVID, or uh, or the family on the phone not being able to actually talk to the being close to the uh, family member. Uh, I believe this was one of the hardest moments, you know, trying to to compensate for the the need of the family at the bedside, and and it was very difficult. Yeah, I, I make sense. Um, all right, let me see the next one. How has your workload increased as a result of COVID, as if, as in new policies that you had to implement and things like that? Well, definitely, uh, COVID brought a lot of uh, new things to us um, from the point of view of uh, infection control. Um, it was very difficult because we were not used to uh, so many uh, regulations that we have right now in place. Um, and also, um, dealing with, uh, with the patient, like I said, you know, anxiety and, and taking care of them and and we were actually uh, like I had experience in the nursing home and I also had experience in the acute care uh, I've been in the hospital working with uh, COVID patients uh, and many and many other patients for over a year now and uh, it was very difficult because there were, uh, we were short of staff uh, there were not enough nurses enough CNAs and it was more difficult for us to actually cope with the amount of patients but I think we're done good, and we actually, uh, I think nurses have done, uh, we have done a great job. I mean, I know doctors are there, and, and they have the knowledge, the power to prescribe, but the nurses were, were really being like the, the hero, the true heroes during this whole pandemic. That's great, that's excellent. Okay, um, you spoke about new nurses. How um, have the new nurses and the inexperienced nurses been able to uh, catch up, so to say, on all your policies and procedures. Has that been a challenge? It definitely has been a challenge uh, dealing with uh, new nurses because um, usually, you know, when we have new nurses, we go through a process of training and, and we, don't actually, we don't actually send them to the floor uh, unless we feel that we feel comfortable with their skills and their competence. However, um, like I said, uh, being short of staff, and having so many also nurses going into the field for vaccination or, or whatever the case uh, was, I, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of nurses, they actually quit because they were afraid of the virus. Uh, some other nurses, they actually needed to go home because they didn't have anyone to take care of them, their, their kids at home. Then it was very, very difficult because, you know, especially me as a director of nursing, um, knowing that I have a nurse on the, on the floor that is unexperienced, it's kind of like it scared me a little bit, but we needed to deal with that. We needed to actually do our best, and what I did was constant supervision and constant education, so um, we, we, we could really cope with, uh, with the pandemic. Yeah, and so you talk about like your number one priority was taking care of the patients and their needs and having to act as their family too at the same time. Um, how, what challenges have the patients themselves had during this pandemic? Um, well, from the clinical point of view, one of the main challenges has been the, from the respiratory point of view, you know, like clinically, you know, the, um, the oxygen has been one of the major problems, you know, as we know, the virus really affects the, 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 the lungs. And, uh, uh, you know, I, even myself, I, I had COVID, and I know, I know how difficult, how, how you feel when you're short of breath. And, uh, and, uh, and being isolated also is a major problem, you know, isolation lead to depression, uh, not being able to have the family there. I think the, one, what, the uncertainty of, uh, of not knowing what's going to happen to me, I listen to all the media and all the, all the news, uh, patients getting intubated, um, I'm going to die, you know, you don't know. Some patients, they had a mild disease, but some patients, they really were severe. Like I said, I had it, and, and it was a very difficult situation for me. Even even that, I, that I'm a nurse, and I know what uh, my patients were going through before, 
when I when I got the virus, I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm going to die. I went to anxiety. Uh, I mean, not having my being able to see my family, my kids. Then I mean, it was difficult. And then also dealing with some of the family members that maybe were sick. You know, as a, as a nurse and being a patient, dealing with family. I mean, it's really difficult. Very difficult. All right.